Hi, I'm Gary Testa, President and CEO of Engineered Fluids, and today I want to give you a tour of our latest product, the Generation 4 Slick Tank. Now, this tank is super unique in the industry. We've seen and worked with many people to develop many different types of crypto tanks supporting slick, single phase liquid immersion cooling. And what we found was is that there was a lot of folks struggling to get the design correct and to really provide sufficient flow within the overall tank. The other thing, of course, is, is that most of the tanks that we work with today um, are made out of steel. And the difficulty with steel is the inability to provide uh, production, right? It's, it's difficult to do large scale production when you have to weld and bend and everything. So when we set out to design the tank, uh, we had a couple of design criteria in mind. And the first one was, how do we do large scale production? You know, we've had a number of customers come to us talking about thousands of tanks. And frankly, using steel or aluminum as a tank material is really problematic. There's just no way to be cost effective in the development. You can do one, two, five tanks, but when you need to do a thousand tanks at a time, it's just near impossible to get any kind of cost effective. So what we did is we worked uh, with our suppliers and David, Dr. David Sundin, our chief scientist, worked closely with a number of resin developers to create a resin material that we could make our tank out of. So this tank is entirely made out of a special fiberglass resin construction and what's so unique about it is how light it is, right? So this whole tank, empty, uh, can easily be moved, even though it's uh, over three meters long and holds 48 miners. This tank, empty, can be moved with two people. It lays less than 250 pounds. The other thing that's unique about the tank is because of the resin material that we've used, it, you know, fiberglass resin uh, has a very low heat coefficient, which means it does not transmit heat very easily. What that means is, is that the heat stays in the tank. Unlike aluminum or steel, which radiate all of that heat outside into your environment, this tank actually works to contain that heat so that you're removing it. And with this resin material, we're able to get more than 98% of the heat back into the fluid and outside of your mind, which is absolutely critical to minimizing the amount, if any, of comfort cooling that you need with inside a large mining facility. The other thing that we worked on was uh, providing the ability to have different types of connections into the tank. Now, why is this important? It's important because we have different customers from around the world. So whether you're in Europe, Asia, or the United States, or even Latin America, there's different sizes of components. Now, CPVC, which we use all over the world, is readily available. But whether it's DIN 50, two inch, one inch, all of this is going to depend on the design that you've done. How many miners are in the tank? How much heat we're removing? What flow rates do we need? All of these are impacted. And within a steel tank, you'd have to basically weld on whatever kind of flange material. But within our design, we basically have two ways of mounting into the tank. One is are these aluminum flanges. They bolt directly onto the tank. They can be, we can create them with two inch NPT, we can do one inch NPT, we can also do DIN 50 NPT, we can do British pipe thread. All the different threadings from around the world are easily available with, within these flanges. Now, the other thing that we've done though, is we've designed the tank specifically to allow you to epoxy nipples directly in. So you can take a pipe nipple and epoxy it directly into this tank. And I don't know if you can see these details here where my fingers are, but each of these locations has been pre-marked in the tank to allow you to easily drill them out with a hole saw or a drill in order to get the size piping that you need. And so, you know, at the end of the day, we've tried to think of all the things that you as customers have given to us and said, hey, I need this, I need that. And within this design, I think we've really accomplished a major feat of doing a few things. One, absolutely the best performance. Our Slick 48 tank is capable of doing over 200 kilowatts of heat removal with a simple flow rate using either BitCool or ElectroCool, our dielectric coolants. We can cut these tanks to any length. We manufacture them in over 20 foot lengths, and then we trim them down to the exact size that's needed, depending on what will go in and the amount of heat that you'll be removing. This is unique, meaning that 
effectively, we can ship them either fully constructed, as you see here, or we can ship them as a kit in order to have further reduce the cost to you. So if you're a DIY guy or girl, and you want to build the tank yourself, we can make that available to you. If you want it fully constructed, we can do that as well. The other thing that it gives us by basically shipping it disassembled is that we can get substantially more tanks into significantly smaller packaging than any of our competition. Everybody else is shipping you a lot of empty air. With our slick tank design, when we ship it, we're able to stack all these tanks together into a very small area, which means that you're gonna save a substantial amount of money on the cost of shipping, no matter where you are around the world. There's a whole host of innovations that we've integrated into this design. And we'll be talking about those in individual videos as we go forward.